Welcome to the tutorial about um, Antergos open box. We're going to set the resizing to 1920 and then go to full screen mode and wait for the magic to happen. And if it doesn't happen, you type Ctrl F again. So the virtual box sometimes has an issue. You go to the right screen and then you wait one, two. Now you can go to full screen. And now we see a much, much better uh, picture, but of course the conky didn't go with it. The plank is still there. So we're going to get rid of uh, this anyway and restart the plank. So it's a bit nicer and the conky is going away anyway. So what have we done until now? We've, uh, we're going to um, check out first what did we install. There's a lot of applications that came with it, with the uh, installation phase one, like I call it, uh, catfish, uh, conkey manager, uh, mouse pad, nitrogen plank, redshift, all kind of variety we're gonna need. All kind of software has been added to the normal Antergos software. And we're just going over them so you can see what they are. Sublime text, Clementine and so on and so on okay so this is what our menu looked like because in a few minutes the menu will be gone and you will, won't be able to see it anymore so the open box configuration will have a similar menu but it will be not the same and we'll, we'll not have this anymore we'll have a screenshot print and print screen and all that okay so these are this is the old menu from Antergos and we're gonna make our new one because actually that's the point of open box you can make there are I think about four or five ways to make a menu and I'm gonna choose OP menu generator okay what's next we have uh, installed everything so we should go to system tools file manager pc mon fm we go to the data file data folder on tackles open box installation so we've done all that next phase is the personal phase that's something you want to want to do or don't want to do so just listen what's in there because some of the things you do need um, detailed list view is better for me to follow and for you as well I think we've changed something in the previous tutorial I can open now a current folder internal why because I want to have these two together and how did I do it at preferences advanced and I typed in the only terminal I knew I had Alex terminal in at the point at this point in time we actually can use gnome terminal but let's keep working with the tools that are provided from antergos by the way if you don't like the look let's see if i can go preferences display style background like so okay okay so they have a transparent but it's a bogus transparency, it's not real transparent, you read that on the net. So, we have here this terminal in which we're going to run all the, the scripts that are in here. In here, I'm going to talk about it. 600 is going to install personal folders like documents, videos, but also hidden folders like .icons, .themes. If it's not created, it will be created. 602 these are the personal folders for um, for open box itself so things that I'll be copying later in 900 and 910 have been created already that's a good idea to improve my scripts even further um, open if you forget to run this program then okay it's already there and it's already there 
fine then he'll be, he will be creating the folder there so that's okay 603 is gone uh, at this point in time i realized that we do not need it so there is indeed there might be an issue so i'm gonna go back a few steps and synchronize my uh, so git pull it's very interesting you work on the system and then you git pull the latest version as you can see a lot of lot of things have uh, happened since i cloned my uh, virtual box so this is phase two running the scripts and we're back inside in personal some things have changed uh, in here so but now they have been updated but not those uh, 600 and 602 are the same 605 is going to copy paste my bookmarks the bookmarks are here on the side when do we see the bookmarks when we right mouse click application system tools file manager pc man fm there they have there you have it so data there goes these are the bookmarks and oops too far view detailed view bigger last one i ran was 605 610 610 key short shortcuts not applicable here shortcuts are in an open box file so you can run it uh, but it will not do anything it just tells you that it's not needed here in other distros it's needed but not here install personal settings screenshot to gpg if you like gnome screenshot like i do because it has the setting to make a picture in gpg rather than png it saves me many megabytes in the end gigabytes on my hosting for my website erdubor.pe sig20 install personal settings so it's going to copy paste a lot of scripts and one theme to the gimp Folder, so I can have them at all time, times and then 630 variety has its own settings variety is a wallpaper changer we're gonna do that in a bit 635 is all the art themes I've ever created are going to be copy pasted in here so arc dark is known from horse 3180 which is blue but I have this R Colora script on the GitHub in which we can change the blue color to one of the 16 million other colors. So these are the results of scripting and you can do it yourself as well. All explained on eric2bar.be. 640, install the personal settings for Plank. Whoa, I've got some more icons up here. So great. Then 645, install the personal settings. Well, do it, do it. Uh, you can change it afterwards. It's gonna tell him to change to Noto Sans to take this kind of icon theme and so on. And you can change it later with Alex appearance anyway. But it means that you will have a beautiful screen a desktop where you will put into. Compton. Compton is used, but not, not uh, used properly. And in, indeed, there are many more possibilities in Compton to shade, to fade out, to have a shadow and all that. That's not used at the moment in Antergos. So I copy paste my own configuration file and we'll see in a bit when we reboot how that looks. And then 6.5 something, 6.5.5 personal settings for tint tint is this thing up here tint 2 and we're gonna copy paste this as well so personal things then I um, I found out I discovered that when you exit you get these kind of icons and I found them okay but then I found other icons and um, in the end i made my own icons so this is the end 660 is install the 
the, the way you log out is gonna be the Sardi open box logout icon. So I'm gonna copy paste that. It's gonna be in here, it's this, it's this, and here are some icons. Not much, that's all it, it, acquire, it requires and you should set it of course so you can change between all of these so when you do 660 you copy paste the theme and then now we're gonna change it uh, to 661 and it's gonna be from numix to oxygen we change it from numix to oh, uh, capital letters voilà right mouse click exit now this is oxygen and then 662 is going from oxygen to foam foam is this i rather like this look i wanted to keep it but then i thought uh, well let's make ourselves an icon theme Back from foam to oxygen, 663. Working. It's so now we're here. And then we're going from oxygen to sardi. It's going to be looking like this. Voila. So we can skip all the rest. It's uh, This is from sardi to oxygen and this is from oxygen back to new mix and this is from new mix to sardi so all possible uh, ways have been uh, created and then we're off to settings of the route but i don't have to run it because i know by heart i don't do anything in there so it's all hashtag out what we do need to do is 700 and 700 is for dark themes input boxes that you can't read then this is fixed the small css fix and then this is 900 which is quite essential open box configuration you should have this one or um, well have your own individual one but it's it's uh, streamlined already so do take it and then last but not least very certainly not least i'm loving my menu generator and i'm copy pasting every setting i have done in the past to it so it knows what to do so finally everything is copy pasted finally you can do a reboot and check out how that will look so restart and we'll end the tutorial there and start customizing it even further because there are little programs to be installed some icons that are not good so other stuff that needs some tweaking but not much so the the main work, the, the, the major part of the customization has been done. We have to tell Doc to go up there. That's something I'll do in this tutorial already. And I can zoom it and take another kind of look. Uh, maybe you saw already the shadow that's uh, behind the, the and here we have a menu that's completely new right mouse click with icons that are in order this one is has just been created and next week we will have a nice pirate like skeleton kill nemo icon there and the tin 2 is now my tin 2 the way i want it it's not up here it's way down here with these kind of uh, icons and font and all that but that's also for another tutorial to check out how to change that 